good morning good morning welcome to my channel it is i it is me it is she pure wisdom and it has been a while it's been a while since i blessed you with my presence with that pure wisdom um i listen <laughs> i have been in meditation prayer consecration i know for at least 30 days and, and and something came up for me this morning when i was in in meditation and, and with in meditation it was a confirmation um i walked into a room um last week and and it was just dead it was dead um the atmosphere it felt dead the the individuals felt dead it i was the only one that felt like i had life in me right looking and seeing with my physical eye but most importantly with my spiritual eye and then god led me to the word today in john 11 38 to 44 when you talk about jesus raising lazarus from the dead you understand me listen these people came they that they lazarus was in the tomb there was um there was a stone that was covering the tomb there was a foul smell to to coming out of that tomb and they came to jesus you know martha and, and mary came to jesus and they they asked him you know uh bring lazarus back to life we want to see your gifts we want to see your gifts we want to see what your gifts are and, and so Jesus went and, and when Jesus went to the tomb, he told that stone to move and the stone moved. But not only did the stone move, right? He spoke to that stone. He spoke to that mountain and that mountain was moved. You hear me? So that he could access Lazarus. And when he accessed Lazarus, he said, loose him and let him go. And the shackles just fell and Lazarus came alive, right? Lazarus, um he came back to life because why because he was spiritually dead he wasn't physically dead right he was in this cave he was rotting he was rotting because he did not have the tools he did not have the belief that god could sustain him that god could provide for him that god would preserve him and stand in the gap for him and so what is it that is dead in your life on this beautiful day, on this Monday, the beginning of the work week, what is it that you need to breathe breath into? You need to breathe life into. This is your message. This is your confirmation. This is your validation that every dead bone in your body will come to life. You just got to speak that thing. You got to speak to the mountain, right? You got to tell it to move in order for you to be able to do the things that you need to do. And so that's my message for you today speak life rise up from the dead breathe new life breathe a new breath every breath that we have and every sunrise that come is a new day it's a new beginning and so you can and you will do great and abundant things in this life know that god is with you god is breathing his breath of life into you so know that anything that is dead anything that is that has perished know that you can speak life know that you will speak life and know that all is well remember tell that mountain to move and it will move ask and you shall receive just as jesus rose and spoke lazarus to life lazarus was dead he was gone for four days um but he was resurrected he was life was breath breathed into him so that's my that's my rant that's my tidbit it was on me strong it was on me heavy um i come to bring fruit to the sheep sheep don't eat fruit <laughs> sheep don't eat fruit but guess what fruit is plentiful right let me give you some bread whatever it is to bring life to multiply your life i'm speaking that into your life so go out today and be great be great and amazing if you are new to my channel make sure that you like this video you subscribe to stay up to date you never know what i'm going to post i just put random things right my life um my family different things motivation inspiration encouragement most importantly pure wisdom i love you and i'll